Hello everyone and welcome to Blood and Hematology YouTube channel. This video discusses a group of hereditary disorders, collectively called thalassemias. It begins with an introduction and general description of thalassemias, including the genetic defects and classification. Silent carrier state, as the first part of beta thalassemia syndromes, is also discussed in this video. Inherited hemoglobin disorders are the most common monogenic diseases worldwide. Hemoglobinopathies are clinical diseases that result from a genetically determined abnormality of the structure or synthesis of the hemoglobin molecule. The abnormality is associated with the globin chains, and the heme group of the hemoglobin molecule is normal. The globin abnormality can be either a qualitative defect in the globin chain or a quantitative defect in globin synthesis. Qualitatively abnormal hemoglobin molecules result from genetic mutations in the coding region of a globin gene, resulting in amino acid deletions or substitutions in the globin protein chain. These mutations cause structural variation in one of the globin chain classes. The quantitative globin disorders result from various genetic defects that reduce synthesis of structurally normal globin chains. The quantitative disorders are known collectively as the thalassemias. The hemoglobin molecule is a globular protein consisting of two different pairs of polypeptide chains and four heme groups, with one heme group embedded in each of the four polypeptide chains. Variations in amino acid sequences give rise to different types of polypeptide chains. Each chain is designated by a Greek letter. Two types of globin chains are produced, alpha-like, including alpha and zeta, and beta-like, including beta, gamma, delta, and epsilon. A pair of alpha-like chains combines with a pair of beta-like chains to form the various types of tetrameric hemoglobin molecule. The genes that encode the globin polypeptides are organized into two small clusters. The alpha-like genes are located near the teloma of the short arm of chromosome 16, whereas the beta-like genes reside on chromosome 11. Thalassemia is a highly clinically heterogeneous group of hereditary blood disorders, characterized by the reduced or absent synthesis of globin chains, leading to anemia and microcytosis. Thalassemias are named according to the chain with reduced or absent synthesis. Mutations affecting the alpha or beta globin gene are most clinically significant because hemoglobin A is the major adult hemoglobin.
Thalassemia can be classified according to the genotype or clinical features. The genotype classification is based on gene or genes, affected by the mutation, heterozygous or homozygous state, absent or reduced rate of globin synthesis, and so forth. According to anemia status, the clinical classification defines thalassemia syndromes as thalassemia minor, without clinical symptoms, but with hematologic abnormalities, thalassemia intermedia, with less severe symptoms, and thalassemia major, a severe and transfusion-dependent form. The terms thalassemia major, thalassemia intermedia, and thalassemia minor refer to clinical severity and are not genetic designations. Being recessive condition, recognition of thalassemia carriers, is essential and possible by hematological tests. Both alpha or beta thalassemia carriers, or heterozygotes, present with microcytic hypochromic parameters with or without anemia, which requires a differential diagnosis to exclude iron deficient anemia. The hematological parameters including red cell indices and morphology, followed by separation and measurement of hemoglobin fractions are the basis for the identification of thalassemia carrier. Beta thalassemias include all the disorders of reduced globin chain production arising from the beta globin gene cluster on chromosome 11. The beta thalassemias affect mainly the beta chain production but also may involve the delta, gamma, and epsilon chains. The disorders are very heterogeneous phenotypically, as well as at the level of the molecular defects. More than 350 mutations have been reported which are responsible for beta thalassemia. Beta thalassemia mutations are divided into two main categories. Beta plus and beta zero thalassemias. Other thalassemias caused by defects in the beta globin gene cluster include delta beta zero thalassemia, hemoglobin lipore thalassemia, and hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin. Beta plus is the designation for the various mutations in the beta globin gene that result in a partial deficiency of beta chains. 5 to 30 percent of normal and a decrease in production of hemoglobin a beta zero is the designation for the various mutations in the beta globin gene in which no beta chains are produced in the homozygous state an individual does not produce hemoglobin a
beta thalassemia is divided into four categories based on clinical manifestations. 1. Beta thalassemia silent carrier, with no hematologic abnormalities or clinical symptoms. 2. Beta thalassemia minor, with mild hemolytic anemia, microcytic hypochromic red blood cells, and no clinical symptoms. 3. Beta thalassemia major, with severe hemolytic anemia, microcytic hypochromic red blood cells, severe clinical symptoms, and transfusion dependence. And 4. Beta thalassemia intermedia, with mild to moderate hemolytic anemia, microcytic hypochromic red blood cells, moderate clinical symptoms, and transfusion independence. The terms thalassemia minor, intermedia, and major refer to clinical severity and are not genetic designations. The designation beta silent includes the various heterogeneous mutations that cause minor or no hematological abnormalities and nearly normal alpha beta chain ratios in heterozygotes. These mutations can be referred to normal A2 beta thalassemia and are divided into two groups, silent and almost silent beta thalassemia trait. In silent beta thalassemia trait, both the red cell indices and the hemoglobin A2 percentage are normal. In almost silent beta thalassemia trait, red cell indices are abnormal, but the hemoglobin A2 percentage is not increased. Both silent and almost silent beta thalassemia traits can be detected by studies of globin chain synthesis rates and by molecular genetic analysis. It should be noted that there are other causes of beta thalassemia trait with a normal hemoglobin A2 concentration. In homozygotes and compound heterozygotes, these mutations can cause clinically significant disease. Homozygote individuals present a mild beta thalassemia intermedia phenotype with an increased level of hemoglobin F and hemoglobin A2. Genotypes, hemoglobin patterns and phenotypes in silent carrier state of beta thalassemia are listed in the table. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, to give it a thumbs up and share it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, if you still have not. You can click on the bell, to receive notifications, whenever a new video is uploaded.